All right, we are live. Thanks everybody for waiting. It's a bit of a later start date than usual, start time than usual, but I think it's all good. Welcome back to Bricks and Coffee 18. I'm good, I've seen the questions in the chat. Um, well, I don't really have to explain every time I'm late, right? It's the beauty of having your own channel, your own boss. Uh, family stuff, personal reasons. Everything is good. I just took extra time to um, spend with the family and have some conversation in the morning. All in good manner. Um, instead of uh, going and showing up on the internet. So, sometimes I love you guys, but sometimes it's just better to take the time to appreciate life a bit more, you know. And, well, talk to your kids a bit in the morning and just say, like, I'm gonna start later. That's it. I don't have to explain it to you. All right, so uh, I think that's one thing um, on the internet that, you know, with all the things that people doing stuff on the internet have to do, um, it's a bit of an anxiety to have to explain every time you're late or something changes. So just refrain from asking too much. I think that's, um, that's, that's something I'm doing. Like, I, I'm not asking all the creators, like, why are you late? Why are you not post uploaded? Like, less you're supposed to, like, you're supposed to upload and... I'm not, I'm not having any, like, no offense to any anyone in the chat, you're fine, like, you, it's natural to ask, but I used to ask a lot of people, like, why are you late? I stopped doing that because I know everybody has busy lives, and everybody has different reasons why things are changed or spawned from the regular schedule, alright? So, 
No, it's all good. I'm good. No, nothing, nothing negative. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, it's like, you know, when you ask, uh, a lot of people ask uh, in work, like, can I take time off for this and that? And you know what? You don't have to explain anything to your boss. Uh, you just have, I'm taking the time off because I can. That's it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Like, yeah, I, I think you, I, I know your concern because you thought like, maybe I'm like, maybe I'm knocked off from the vaccine more or like maybe I feel bad or something or something happened. No, no. Sometimes it's just like, well, I can postpone it. I have like, you know, other things to do for the time being and I'm just going to do it. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> we're here. Yeah. Thank you for your support, guys. Nothing negative. So I'm not just clear that out that nothing really bad happened. I just took the time to... Uh, to just like, you know, like wake up the kid and have some conversation and just like have a morning instead of just rushing to the computer. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all it is. All right. Um, let's see. Thank you so much for being here. I know you guys have been waiting for 30 minutes. A lot of you were in the chat actually. Uh, Brixton Coffee 18. Coffee is here. I'm not, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Yes. Uh, thumbnail. You had to refresh like... Thumbnail was off or something? Oh, there's a lot of going on uh, in the LEGO world. Yes, so let's see who's in the chat. I just want to say my welcomes. I took my break like the... Uh, for those of you who are like reading my community posts. Um, so Moderna, second shot, knocked me out. I had all the side effects that they were listing <laughs> on their websites. True, like, okay, first day, you guys saw me the first day, I was streaming, and I was actually, re I recorded the video, a uh, news update, the second series of video, Lego video, uh, the minifigs, and it was good, and, you know, I finished the recording, and I did the stream with you guys, and um, I went to sleep, and I think, like, early in the morning, like, okay, well, the body starts to hurt, you know, the, the muscle pain, and then, like, when I was waking up, the, the arm, the injection arm, that was hurting like a truck, like a truck hit me. And then um, the same like hour, like two hours later, I was like shivering. I had shivers and I, okay, I, I put up my, my work communication app and I, hey boss, I'm not going to work today, you know, side effects and stuff. Like she it was like, okay, cool. Um, and then I, I went back to sleep and I slept for the next like six hours. So like 12 hours in total, I slept. And I was like, cool, let's just shake it off, right? And then the next day I was like, my whole back hurt, the shoulders, everything, like joints. I was like, cool, another side effect. And I had a headache. <laughs> so all, I ticked all the boxes, but you know what? If I was asked to do it again, I would do it again because it protects you. It, it means that somebody told me like, it means that the, um, the vaccine is working, which is good because like your body adjusts that like new antibody production and something like is in your organism that actually makes you feel sick. And it was exactly that. So if I, if, I, if I could do it again, I would do it again. And I would still encourage people to do it. And not everybody gets the side effects. So, But uh, right now, like today, I'm so much better. Yesterday, I still was a, a bit sore in my muscles. But today, it's much better. I think it's just like, yeah, it wears off for like two, three days. I got the shot on Tuesday. And yeah. So it's all good, guys. Um, yeah. The chat is super long because people were actually waiting from 9 a.m. <laughs> so thank you for being very loyal and, and, and hanging out and chatting. So Callum, welcome. Uh, Nathan Briggs, Raven, all the members are here. Yes. Big shout to the memes. We're like, we're having a slang now. It's the memes. You know, it's the cool fan memes. Cool fan fan memes. It's a, it's a slang term. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. So to make it up for you, to make it up for all that late and de and delay and all that, you know, uh, postponing, it's gonna be a, probably a longer stream because there is like, I have 35 or something tabs open with all the new sets. A lot of you have seen those. A lot of people were spamming videos. Actually, I think I'm gonna spam a bunch of videos as well because I'm gonna probably re-record re sections of this stream afterwards. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, and you know what actually I'm gonna start recording now and maybe I'm gonna use some bits of it I don't know maybe it's something I can do can I can I start recording I think so well if, if there's any performance with the stream let me know but I'm recording right now so uh, whatever you say is gonna be on the screen <laughs> 
No, like we'll see, we'll see. I, I might as well do it, but uh, we're gonna be doing probably a bunch of videos about the new sets, like separately from the stream, like entirely. Uh, Star Wars boy, what's up? Um, John, stop. Welcome, Coffee Hand Productions, Broston, uh, David, Bob builds uh, Outsider. How you doing? Let's see. I'm scrolling all the way back to 9 a.m. Basically, Charlie, welcome. Twinception Productions. Um, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. People joining like like crazy. Broston, what's up, Daniel? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mahan, welcome. Wyatt Green, hello. Uh, I'm trying to not skip anybody. Roland, welcome. The chat is super long today. What are you doing? Have you not subscribed yet? <laughs> All right. It's good to be back, actually. It feels like I'm back after like a like a journey or something. AWM Lego Films, what's up? Uh, A and A Hobbies, Hobbies. Hey gang, what's up? Don't forget to like. Yes, likes actually do help. Absolutely, they do. They're awesome. I don't even know where to start the, this Bricks and Coffee. It feels like, yeah, um, we didn't skip a Bricks and Coffee yet, but it feels like because of how I was feeling the last few days, I felt like I was like, it was weeks of a break. It was just like two days. I took a day off and then like recovered the next day, kind of, but still worked. I worked yesterday, but like, it feels like I'm back from a journey or something. Hello, hello. Yeah, we did some content this week, so maybe... Um, what did I do this week? <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no recollection of the passing week. Like, all it was was the muscle pain and trying to get through it. Honestly, like, I was really sore. I was really sore. What did I even do? Guys, can you tell me? What did I even do this week? We, we are at... Ooh, like, ooh, like, this is nice. We are... Oh, 7.31 thousand subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is moving, actually. This is moving. Uh, it was st it was stale for two weeks and now it's moving. Thanks, YouTube. I'm not sure. Actually, YouTube sent me an email. Hey, hey, uh, Mike, the cool factor. You might see an uptick in subscribers because we fixed a thing or two. I was like, hmm. Okay, so you mean that uh, people were not hating me and actually you were messing up as YouTube? Uh, I, well, I guess they kind of admit it. But they said they fixed something in the email and like you may see a change in subscribers, like positive change. I was like, oh, okay, well, there it is. So thank you, uh, I guess, YouTube, I guess. I, I was putting out stuff. Oh, 43 watching, thank you guys. Um, so we did a, a Star Wars haul, you can look it up. Uh, I, I did like, yeah, don't, don't ask. I was, I broke my, my code of not buying stuff for May the 4th, but I did buy stuff. I didn't get the R2 though, because it was sold out. This thing was popular. Uh, we did the live build of the classic Batmobile, we got the video series video, uh, series 2, you can, this is a deep dive by the way, 25 minutes. Uh, we got the Le Minion Brickheads review and a live build. I think we could have done more if, if it wasn't for that vaccine um, situation. I think we could have, I, I, I could have done more. I could, I, I felt like I was, I was, I wanted to do like a lot of videos. Yeah, I got the Tatooine, uh, yeah, mini build, I did get that. Mm -hmm. So speaking of that, let's dive like whoever was living under the under a rock. May the 4th is still ongoing. R2 is gone from the main page because it's sold out. And they even I think they even said that well look on your look to your local store, you may find it. I don't think that's that's a thing. I don't I don't think there's anything left. <laughs> that was like the craziest selling uh, set lately. So um, hello. I'm actually furious with YouTube right now. Twinception Production says uh, they're starting putting ads on non-monetized channels, including mine. It's inc incredibly frustrating. I'm glad they fixed some things on your channel. Um, Twinception, that's not a bug. That's a feature. Let me explain quickly. Uh, YouTube has the right to put ads on your channel. I had ads on my channel before I got monetized. It, this is something you have in the YouTube agreement when you create an account. They have absolute right to do it. And they are monetizing off non-partnered channels. Uh, do not uh, do not confuse non-monetized against non-partnered. Non, you, you are non-partnered. You are not in agreement with YouTube and uh, they can 
run ads off your channel. They, they do it all the time. Like if you, if you look at small channels, you will most likely see an ad all the time. Every time you watch a YouTube video, you will most likely see an ad. There's a big chance. Except just partner channels get a cut from that. But you will have see channels. And it's been like that ever, ever, ever. It's been like that. Um, it's, it's, they didn't change anything. I've been on YouTube since like, you know, having an account since like 2012 or something. And I actually read the terms and conditions and you will see the ads everywhere. And they, they just like, it, it's, it's something that's happening. So don't, don't feel like that something is broken. It's just the way it is. All right. Uh, so R2 is, is sold out everywhere. You can still get the helmets, double VIP points. I got this guy. Uh, they had plenty of these actually in my store. I got this, this small poly bag too. It's kind of, do I have it? Yeah. It's neat. I think my kids want it, so we'll see. So it's still going on, of course, May the 4th. Um, actually, my store had plenty of Star Wars stock, except for R2. So... Ads on non-monetized videos are only on American channels right now. That is also possible, uh, just because of the regulations uh, and the COPA and everything. That's that's also very much possible. So the, the whole premise of running ads on channels was there on YouTube forever. It's just who gets the ads right now is more regulated because of COPA, European uh, rules and, and laws uh, against American laws of advertising. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes, so yeah. Funny MNR said it won't sell out. It was like I've... I think it's just like a pair of the thing that the pandemic is kind of more in control right now, especially in California, everybody gets vaccinated. And uh, I've, for the first time this weekend, I've seen real crowds in the mall, like at the mall I've been going to for the past six years, like multiple times a month, cause I lived so close to it. And I worked there in a Lego store. This is the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, I've seen a real crowd of people. In the mall like uh, and the lego store had a a friend of mine worked there and they said they had a line uh, for the r2 and r2 sold out within like two hours from opening so i think that's like also a, a warm summer weekend it's kind of summer in california already um yeah that's that that's the back to normal i guess kind of thing all right yeah 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 i paid that ad free subscription for the family yeah it's youtube premium i'm actually considering this because uh, not only because I don't want to have ads on the videos, but also if you have YouTube premium and you're watching other creators and I do watch other creators, I support a lot of people in the community, uh, they get more ad revenue from you watching if you have YouTube premium. It's like a, it's like a Netflix subscription, so you get like extra shows and ad free content. And if you watch somebody, they get uh, what's called ad like a YouTube premium revenue. So they get more per your click than they would get if you had non premium account. Actually, that's true. Like if you watch people, they get more, they get more cut from you watching, even though they don't get ads. It's, it's, it, that's the way it works. It's kind of weird. That's an incentive to get premium. And if you're watching a lot of people, I might get that just because I'm a creator, just creating stuff myself and watching other people. So, and I, I, I hate ads too. So <laughs> don't worry guys. I hate ads too, but they, they do pay. <laughs> Not surprised the R2 sold out, it'll be super popular for a while. Right on. All right, let's 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 get like, yeah, May the 4th is ongoing. Uh, let's get to the uh, bread and butter of the stream, which is like, oh my, everything. And I think, you know what? I think they, as I woke up today, I think there were even new sets unveiled. Like, yeah, the oh my, I'm just gonna open new tabs. I have like 40 tabs right now. This is gonna be a long stream. And I'm gonna probably get a bunch of extra videos made today. I feel like productive today. It's good to be back, like with the health and everything. I mean, health, the funny thing, like I was healthy all the time. It's just the side effects. You're not sick from the vaccine. You are just fatigued and it's just like a, like a placebo side effect, kind of. Like your organism is fighting against like, you know, something that's not there, but it's kind of like the vaccine tells it's there, you know? Speed champs, brickheads, Harry Potter brickheads, Taj Mahal. Uh, wow, oh, this flower is cool. They're like plentiful in California. I'm we're gonna, oh my, I'm gonna open new tabs at this point. Holy smokes, speed champs. What? It, that's 42 tabs open, I think, right now. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, speed. Ooh. Mm. Wow. 
Speed jumps are awesome. And the 3-in-1 castle official reveal. Oh my... How, wh what? You guys, I need a, I need a jug of coffee. I, I think we got Minecraft. Oh, open. <laughs> Let's, I want to look at it all. <laughs> Jeez. This is crazy. Brick fun just keeps going. Oh my. Okay. Uh, whatever. Let, let's start, I guess. <laughs> Mystery speed champs brand. I'm not sure. Like, I, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to have too much peek into it because I want to, like, have reactions with you guys. So... It's gonna be jump pack. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna... We're gonna do the stream like we use... Like we're just gonna hang out for the next hour or so. Um, but after that... By the way, we're not doing a members stream today. Um, I think members streams will be like twice a month or once a month. Like every two weeks or every month. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm not gonna be doing those uh, every... Every Sunday. Um... I might actually add an extra one like in the week, we'll see, but like this is not something we're gonna be doing. I think I did post that, uh, saying that it's not something we're gonna be doing every week. Uh, and I'm still building like a list of topics we're gonna cover, so that's something that for the future. But they're gonna be um, not as frequent as, as, as weekly, alright? So, uh, yeah, let's get this guy rolling. Holy smokes. I think, I mean, this was a leak. I'm so done, Aaron, too. I'm so done, like... And... It, you know what, my story from yesterday, when I was buying all this stuff, like, from the haul, I was like... I, I, my wife was there with me, and I was like, you know, double VIP points, I might get, like, a thing or two to just get the, uh, the tattooing thing. And, and she's like, oh, like, you get double VIP points? Well, but they don't have the R2. And she was like, do you need some small sets? I was like, yeah, like, for the streams and, like, for display. And like, and she was like, get this, and get this, and get this, and get this. And I was like, uh, thanks. <laughs> um, so I ended up with spending like probably as much as R2. But uh, my wallet cried, cried tears of pain, like myself after that vaccine. Oh boy. And then this comes out. This is beautiful, by the way. All right. So we, uh, now I'm gonna... You know what? I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get that creator pirate ship and the castle and I think we're gonna do like a giant stream or something. My wife is awesome, she's so supportive. By the way, congratulations to her, she starts a new job tomorrow. Maybe that was why. <laughs> um, so I, I'm very supportive of her and uh, she's, she's a bit freaking out today, so uh, chat, can you give some 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 big big shouts to my wife? She's She's... She's starting a new job tomorrow and she's freaking out. But uh, but she's lovely and I, I wish her that she's gonna she's gonna fit right in. She's gonna fit right in. It's a big change for her because that's like a completely new company. So yeah, I'm very supportive of her and she she, she loves my Lego stuff and like she's very as as <laughs> as yesterday she was super supportive of that. So I'm I'm supportive of her. Yeah. Yeah, and it's gonna be. I, I'm gonna drive her to, to her new workplace, and she's gonna. It's a, it's a completely new company. Like she's she's switching a lot of things in her life. So that's that's why also like kind of I, I was late today because I just wanted to like talk to her a bit because uh, because she woke up like very anxious. Yeah. All right. Um. Always take care, good care of your loved ones. That that's for sure. Um. Let's see. I like flags, by the way. Okay, Leg Lego talk, Lego talk, Lego talk. Yeah, two hundred spots from X one. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. What's her new job? Uh, I don't want to say in details, but it's it's more like she's she's more academic, but she's gonna be more corporate now. That's all it is. Uh, let's 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 gaze at this beauty. My wife is beautiful, but this is beautiful as well. Mrs. The Cool Factor, Mike. <laughs> Mrs. The Cool Factor. I, I wish, like, I, I want to get her into the channel a bit more. She she was eager to help me with camera stuff, but, like, she's so busy, too. And, and she's helping with the kids a lot when I'm streaming. So that's something that probably won't, won't happen soon. But she's, she's very supportive of what I do. Happy Sunday. So welcome. Galaktyczne klocki, cześć. Get this and get this and get this. Take slice out of her backpack and get this. <laughs> Funny, yeah. I don't even know. That's gonna be a, okay. Hundred dollar set. Let's let's get to Lego. I gotta switch my mindset. I gotta switch the gears around here. All right. So wow. 
actual WoW. Dragon, towers, Polish flag, sort of, like an insignia. It's Polish colors, you know? Chickens, a dude in his tank top, uh, three in one, which is amazing. I honestly, guys, can I, can I, can I con c confess? I want three of these. And mark my words, our beloved Jank Bricks will buy three of these and combine it because all three can combine into a giant castle. This tower is amazing. There's a trebuchet as well. So it's a siege. And you can probably combine them if you build all three. Fake Polish flag, kind of, yeah. I mean, I, I can see the colors. That's like really kind of... You know, Poland is very well known for their castles in medieval times. That's for sure. Junk, junk very often buys three of these to buy all to buy, build all three versions, and I can see this one happening because I think they all three builds it's like a like a medieval fair or something, a windmill is there. All three builds can create like a castle village. I think. Happy Polish Flag Day, Mike. <gasps> That's true. Oh it, wait, it's May the second. Yes. Today is the Polish Flag Day. Hey, <laughs> that's actually true. Shiver me timbers! Oh boy, it's true. May the second is Polish Flag Day. May the third tomorrow is the Polish Constitution Day. We have the, Poli the we have the Constitution of May the third. That's the historical thing. Poland was one of the first countries in Europe to have a constitution. Don't give me ideas. Don't give me ideas. Actually, like, how, how funny is that, right? Like, first set I'm looking at is a kind of a Polish flag, and today is the Polish flag day. <laughs> well, sip for that. Cheers, Polish flag. Mm-hmm. I, 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 don't, I don't know they combine either, but they look like they do. I, I, I can see them work together very well, like, same, you know, no. I think that's, that's, that's the idea. Uh... Wow, uh, 1500 pieces. Okay, 100 bucks. Good, good pricing. So let's see. The tower looks amazing. I'm get Oh, I'm so getting this set. I'm so getting this set. This is crazy. Now I want to get three too. Holy smokes. It closes? This is, this is amazing. It's a great set. It's a great set. It is a great set. Oh, wow, it's so good. And we have the Black Falcons, we can get the Blacksmith guys, and I have the Blacksmith, and you can like, you can have a full, like, if that's the only thing that LEGO makes about the castle, I'm fine with that, I guess. This is great. It's a beautiful set. Alright, so starting off with this one, we're not gonna spend as much time on a single set from this stream, because we, we, we need to keep going. Yeah, the tower is great. Look at the size of it. It's gonna be probably as tall as that haunted house or something. Oh my poor wall, I know. I don't know, jeez, this year is just... You guys watch my stuff, okay? I need that ad revenue. Thank you for all the super chats, by the way. <laughs> I'm starting to get this... I'm starting to get like a... Kind of like a regular paycheck from YouTube, which is great. Like, it really helps me. Uh, you guys are supporting me so much. Thank you. Like, I used to get a paycheck from YouTube, like, every three months, like, a few months ago. And now it's it's more consistent, so I, I can plan ahead things like this and just create content about it. Thank you, guys, really. It's... I think, like, this channel is going places. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Um, let, let's let let's continue. All right. I'm just, like, it's, it's a completely random order, okay, guys? I have, I, I, the, the, I have so many tabs on this screen that I don't see the names of the tabs. I have no idea what I'm clicking. We may see just, like, some random, like, I don't know, like, sort of, like, like uh, Mega Constructs tab here or something. I don't know. If you want to see your comment, please donate. <laughs> I'm not that type of channel, don't worry. No, 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 like, uh, I'm doing this... Like, I'm, as, I'm always assuming I'm doing this for free, guys. It's not like... I'm not turning the cool factor into a job. It's just like everything that you guys help me build in terms of budget, it's... I, I, I see it as a bonus. Like, my goal is to... Yeah, like, make, make this channel sustainable with all the all the things I want to do, and they just cost money. Um, but, but like, my, my main, like, mindset is, like, I'm doing this for... 
fun and for people to enjoy and secondly it's like cool if it brings money then for the better because I can do more stuff that's like guys I'm not making money off this channel like <laughs> everything I you guys every every paycheck I get I basically spend on Lego or or equipment or paying off my services that I use for music and stuff so <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm under, um, I'm under the, I'm in the red here. <laughs> so there is that. Uh, it would be cool to get it a full time thing in the future, but I'm very far from that. All right, the minions <laughs> and Gru. Hey, Louis. Thank you for subbing. Thank you. Or coffee, yes. Coffee costs two, yes. My YouTube Premium will get you some pocket change. The cool thing about YouTube Premium, I think, is, is um, if you watch my video, like, it doesn't matter if I'm... Because you, you have ads disabled. Like, YouTube Premium covers your ads. So you watch my video, and I think I, I, I get more paid because YouTube does not rely on you seeing the ad. YouTube just relies on you just clicking that video and watching it. So I get like a percentage, like a percentage of the time you watch or something. Because normally, like mo normal account, if you watch an, a YouTube video, you have to see an ad for like five seconds, or interact with it for the better, and then the creator gets a cut from it. So you know you can have like people just not watching your ads and just watching you a lot, and but not watching your ads, and you don't get any revenue. But YouTube Premium, like no matter what you do, I will get something from that. I guess that's how it works. Right on June first. Uh, 25 bucks. Oh, the, the, the big one is 25 bucks and the small one is 19. So we got Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid. And then Voldemort, Nagini and Bellatrix. So we get a, ooh, a Death Eater. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing this. Oh my, the, Nagini is so cute. Oh my, 20 bucks, come on. Are you kidding me? It's no, a no, great no. day. Buy yourself something pretty, <laughs> smiley face. Oh, thank you, you don't have, oh my god. I feel so bad when I just like talk like how how I'm under the red and you guys like just super chat me. It's not, it doesn't supposed to work that way. <laughs> thank you, my bricks and me. You don't have to, you're super, you're a member already. You're a, you're a member, you're a, you're watching my stuff. Like, don't feel obliged, please. Thank you. Wow. It's like, oh man, <sighs> what am I supposed to do with this? We can buy, okay, so yeah, we just, <laughs> it's exact. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can buy, by the way, Bellatrix has awesome hair, like wow. But that cute Nadini is, cute snake is cute, cute snake is cute. So you, you just, this one is on you, Bricks and me, this one is on you. <laughs> Voldy, the, the, the cubic Voldy. Hashtag cubic Voldy. Thank you for this super chat from a member and, and she's awesome and thank you. Thank you. Very much so. The snake is cute. I mean, it's awesome. It's like, hmm. It's, it's uh, like Nadine is supposed to be like a scary Voldy snake, but it's not in this case. <laughs> Love the snake. Uh, do you, like, is that pretty enough, my bricks tell me? Should, should we buy this? Is, is, is it pretty enough? I love being able to support great creators, thank you. Uh, by the way, um, subscribe to, to, to her. Uh, it's not because she donated or anything, like, I think... We have a few people here making content uh, that are members also, so check... If you guys can do me a favor and like for all those streams, if you can check all those like names in the chat, a lot of people are doing content. My Bricks and me, she's she's also a content creator. Just started, not that long ago. Um, and I want the cool factor to be, you know, the area when people meet each other and find each other out and and just just do it. So I want to give some proper shoutouts because I know people are here making content, and I think we should all support each other. So. Snake is very cute. Yes. And you don't, you don't have to donate to get a shout out, okay? It's, it's not like I'm like, hey, here's my here's my uh, price list. That's the menu. Uh, pay this much to get a shout out. No, 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 no. This is not happening. This is not happening on this channel ever, okay? I'm giving shout outs because I think people deserve them. So there you go. 
All right, let's move on. The cute snake is cute, yes. Goldie Voldy, uh, better than Cubic Voldy. Yeah, my hashtag Goldie Voldy is from that upcoming Golden Voldemort minifig. Goldie Voldy, hashtag. All right. Uh, random order, no particular order. I'm just clicking the tabs. I don't see the names, there are so many of them. My Chrome is crashing. All right, so this is cool. Uh, another botanical collection uh, flower. So these are plentiful in California. I didn't know they have a name of Bird of Paradise. The, this is a very common type of plant in, in local parks in SoCal. I see this a lot. It's kind of interesting choice because I didn't know that's like a, that much of a common plant to become a Lego set. But it's beautiful. They, they have like giant uh, leaves and the flowers are exactly like this. They kind of bloom in that orange purple fashion with like a red flower bed. They are like the parks use them here in SoCal because they're just like so eye-catching and they like uh, hummingbirds are attracted to these. So if you have a, a park with these, you will see a lot of hummingbirds. So there's like a San Diego Botanical Garden and there's San Diego Balboa Park with like a, like a, like a complex of fountains and, and kind of like a, like a pool for the ducks. And they have these flowers all over the place. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're actually very eye-catching. That's why they call like the bird of paradise, but they do attract humming, hummingbirds and and they're, they're they're pretty strelitzia krulewska so they're in poland too do they even live in like a colder climate i don't think they live in a colder climate you have to have like a like san diego is obviously warm so they're plentiful here they're, they 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 look great along the palm trees here and, and everything yeah pretty cool build i, I gotta say it's pretty accurate i i actually i, I had a i had a few of these under my old balcony when i was renting an apartment in san diego um, I had I had like a like a planter of these right under my balcony, and the, the, like the hummingbirds, I, I had a lot of hummingbirds coming over. Yeah, like why why there is no what, uh, that's a good point. There should be a hummingbird, like a mini build to to get it. That that's actually a great idea. Balboa Park is great. It's amazing place, right? San Diego has. San Diego has plenty of open spaces. We have a giant Balboa, Balboa Park hosts uh, San Diego Zoo, which is amazing. Uh, and it's a giant park. We have the Mission Bay Park. Uh, San Diego is really good for outdoor places. And Balboa Park is historical. It's like a... It's, it's, it's a park that was created uh, from, I, I think, the, the World Fair. Uh, Panama World Fair, I think, kind of. It was like a... It's a, it's a historical place. It's, it looks like a, like a Spanish town, kind of has museums, it has like 20 something museums. If you are in San Diego, go to Balboa Park, it's beautiful. Um, and I go I go there like from time to time. Whenever whenever I go to the zoo, I stop by the Balboa Park because zoo is like part of the park. Yeah, San Diego is amazing for that. All right, I, I like this. I, actually, just because I've seen so many of these uh, in San Diego and, and they're everywhere here. Um, this, I, I didn't get the, the flower bouquet uh, but I, I might get this because it just looks so nice. Making me San Diego. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say all the good things about San Diego because I call it home right now and it's just... I've never li lived in, in a place like this before. All right. Flowers. Taj Mahal. But wait, this is not the large creator one, don't you worry. This is the architecture style. And you know what? You know what? This looks better, in my opinion, I'm sorry, this looks better than the big one. I've built the big one back in Brick Vault, and man, this thing was... Uh, to say boring, maybe not, it's it's too much, but repetitive, and, and kind of old, because it was a remake from an... Because the, the original set is very old, and LEGO, LEGO re, uh, relaunched this, right? Like, it was a, a direct remake. With all the flows included, they they didn't even, they did not even update the uh, the build. That was just like a like a move to to like kind of kill the reselling market for this one. And Lego just re relaunched this it, with like a slight update to the box. Uh, and we built it uh, on Brick Vault, and it was just boring and repetitive. And I didn't like the build honestly. And it's just like a big chunk of white. I mean, I mean the original structure is very historical and everything is beautiful, but like. I didn't like the Lego set, honestly. 
Uh, I like this one much more because it's so, so much more manageable, but still it's like 2000 pieces for an architecture set. They're getting bigger. Um, it's gonna be $120. So I would rather get this one than try to hunt down the, the creator one. The creator one is like just such a big chunk. It's nice, I would say it's very nice. It's like big enough and just, just the right size. I would say. The towers, just like the build. The other one was like a bit finicky. Because uh, you had to like disassemble the towers and like get the cupola and to move it. Eh, it was, yeah. So nice. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice addition to, to uh, architecture. Funny enough, I don't have any architecture sets. Uh, for some reason. I do like them. I'm not sure why I... It's just like something else always takes the priority to buy. And I don't get architecture stuff. I like already like my, my wallet is stretched thin this year, so I don't even know if I'm gonna ever get into architecture. Yeah, way more displayable, that's a good statement, because I remember like how much effort we had to take to find space, even in the Brick Vault studio, we had to take effort to find space for the Taj Mahal. And I think it ended up in some like highest shelf in the farthest corner, corner of the room, somewhere to just actually find a place for it. It was insane. So for a for like a regular a with just like a room like me, uh, for Lego, having the large Taj Mahal is just so un impractical. It's just so impractical. And there's so many other sets that they, they can take place for it and look better. Yeah, all right. So this is good, good launch. Um, I'm actually gonna check if there's anything new coming out. <laughs> like, I gotta refresh the page, uh, refresh the page. No, I think that's the newest addition, okay. So we got the Taj Mahal. All right, speed champs. Let's see. First time I'm seeing this. First time. First time I'm seeing this. First time. All right, let's see. I like speed champions a lot. So let's see how much my, my wallet will cry. Let's see. Kuniksek Jesko. Do you say Jesko or Jesko? I think Jesko. 76900. Uh... Koenigseggs are so crazy of cars, like their shaping is insane. It's even in the 8 stud, it's so hard to capture that shape. This one has like insane front, like look at this. Did LEGO do it right? With all the blockiness, I think they kind of captured it. The, the front is, is really insane for, for a speed champs build. I gotta say they, they did a pretty good job considering uh, the pieces. Is that, a, is that a green meat cleaver? Maybe. Okay, so not sure. Not like 100% sold on this one. I really like that Ferrari from the past, but yeah. Cool, cool suit. Koenigsegg branded. Yeah, green cleaver. That, that's right. I think they used that technique in the past. The Supra. Ooh, Toyota Supra, the new Supra. Oh boy, this is, oh. Okay, the back is ugly. <laughs> oh boy, no, this is ugly. Hmm. It's, it's a custom Supra. Gazoo Racing Supra. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Cool, cool rims though. Cool rims, and we have we have um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, darker uh, gray, gray uh, rims. McLaren Elva. Oh, I didn't even know that existed. Okay, this is cool actually. Is that the electric McLaren? Yeah, the the I didn't even see that McLaren yet. Wow. Whoa, that that back is crazy. Whoa, like wow. I think that's an electric McLaren, right? No, it's not electric, it, it, it has exhaust pipes. Uh, I heard a display. Kind of cool because they can finally like work on the interior a bit more in those eight studs. Really cool seats, actually the interior is awesome for a small car like this. Once on the Alleg Allegro, you could buy a Toyota Supra with a couple. You could buy like a 1250 brake horsepower Supra of like Polish uh, like Polish eBay version. 
Allegro is like a Polish eBay uh, company. Like it's like a company that runs an uh, auction site like eBay in Poland. The seats look like phones. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, they kind of do with the sticker. The Bronco, yeah, like Ford is making the new Bronco and I think they made it, so that's awesome set. It's kind of cool, like, it's interesting, but like, holy smokes, those shapes are insane. They're using all those, like, curve pieces to just get it right, but, um, it's so hard to maintain. Okay, uh, ooh, I don't, I don't think we've seen this one. 1968 Corvette and the C8, uh, C8R. I like this one. I like this one. Ooh, yeah, okay, this one's awesome. This set is good. That's not the Stingray, isn't it? I don't think that's the Stingray. Nice. Yeah, this is, okay, this is a good set. I like it. Very nice. We've seen this one before. That was, I think, somebody bought it. Uh, so we talked about it before, yeah. We've seen this one. Uh, was like leaked by by somebody was buying actually this set. Uh, but we have like more clothes. The, the Jockster is awesome. It's really good build. There's also a set I want. Very cute. Um, and this is a good set. That's a GT Heritage Ford GT Heritage. Great set. The the the, the new Bronco. Oh boy, this is actually a great set. I still like the Ford cars very much. I like the new Mustang Mach-E electric. Um, that's a cool car to, co to compete with the Model Y. Um, and Ford still makes the Mustangs, which are like... That Bronco is amazing. Wow, that shot. Good job, Lego. It's like Ariz Arizona, you know, Route 66. They actually, when they made the, the commercial uh, for the Bronco, they announced the Bronco like a few months back. They actually shot the commercial in the California or Arizona desert. So that's actually kind of like a, the, the thing. Great set. This is a great set. This is beautiful. This is a good set. Wow. Fantastic build for that Bronco. Um, yeah. Because those of you who don't know, Bronco like used to be like this epitome of Ford 4x4 vehicle and they they cancelled it like the Hammer the Hammer is doing a comeback right now and they Ford cancelled the Bronco a while back and now it's it's the new Bronco that commercial was tailor-made for me <laughs> you're doing 4x4 driving uh, like off-roading Aaron that's awesome this is great yeah speed jumps good job Eight start for the win. Um, some of these are like questionable uh, shaping, especially those crazy. The Koenigsegg was kind of. This is interesting because it's such a. It doesn't have a windshield. Did you guys notice? There is no windshield. <laughs> How do you drive this? Where's the windshield? You, you, you need to have like a like a visor helmet all the time. It's kind of yeah. It's a beautiful car, but where's the windshield? Um, the Supra, I don't like the Supra like that much. I think like general package overall, good, good stuff. Like there's stuff I, I want. This is gonna be a long stream. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's let's keep going. What's next? I don't know. Like I don't see the top name. What's next? Oh, Ninja Go. There we go. Let's -a go. We got Underwater Ninja Go Seabound. That's the next season. I, I'm losing track, guys. I have no idea what's going on with Ninja Go. We get Underwater Snakes. The Serpent. The Sea Pent. <laughs> this, the Elva doesn't have a windscreen. It's a track car. So it's not road legal. That makes sense. That, that's, uh, that makes a lot of sense. All right. So a mix of uh, Legacy, Ninja Go Legacy, and Seabound uh, is unveiled. So let's go through real quick. Kai's Blade Cycle, 59 pieces. Four plus, okay. Serpentine, the Serpentine, the Serpentine. Um, that's right. Ultrasonic Assault Vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like that... Um, I remember like kind of a remake of this. 
All right. I mean, I'm not really much into Legacy. That's from season one. I'm not really into Atlantis. Yeah. I'm not really that much into Legacy stuff from Ninjago. I, I don't know. I'm just like not that nostalgic about it. Uh, I didn't grow up with Ninjago, like really. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Another one. Didn't notice there is a golden. Who's that? That's a really cool hair mold. With transp. Oh, that's cool. Who is that? Chat, who is that? E enhance. Computer. Enhance. Computer. Thank you, computer. Hey, CSI team, who is that? Is that Zane? That I think that's Zane. Golden Zane, right? Okay. So that's the 10 year of Ninja Go anniversary minifig. Very nice. All right, I gotta, I gotta zoom out. Enhance, I, I, unenhance, did this enhance? <laughs> okay, so wait. Uh, so we get in this set, we get a golden Zane. Oh, it's even on the box. Silly me, it's on the box. Gold, golden Zane. Um. All right. So that 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 makes it an extra buy. This one doesn't have it's a, it's a small bounty for four plus. All right, whatever the <laughs> truck. I get it. It's four plus. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that build just makes me laugh for some reason. All right, it's four plus. It's fine. It's fine. It's four plus. Okay. All right. The the hydro mech. Very nice. All right. We got the the swimming snakes now. Underwater snakes. Very cool. I like the box art. My favorite, my favorite color is blue, so that makes sense. All right. <laughs> I like the head mold here. Okay. Uh, Aquazone, unite! Aquazone returns. <laughs> it's the Aquazone. Or Atlantis, whatever. Um, Ninja sub speeder. So basically a car with uh, propellers instead of like where wheels are. All right, got it. Fine. I like the helmets. I think the helmets are really cool in this. Those new helmets are awesome. I, I mean, okay, I'm not even gonna like overstep here if I say that Ninjago minifigs over time, over years, were one of the best minifigures in LEGO. Like that LEGO has ever made. All the custom molds, heads, gear. I think Ninjago has like top tier quality of minifigures. Do you guys, do you guys agree? Do you guys agree? Let, let's just settle that right for, for the time being. That every single wave of Ninja Go, the minifigs were mwah, chef's kiss. Every time. I really like Ninja Go minifigs a lot. Same as it was like with Nexonites and everything, but Ninja Go kept like pushing for new things all the time. So many extra new stuff. There is always something that like was well, like, this is good. This is really good. Like all the custom molds, dual molding, you name it. Like they were like, remember those. Remember those like armors from that uh, the Forsaken? Which one was that with those uh, those like snake armors? They had like those crazy snake armors, and like the armor plating had like individual like scales in it, and it was like gunmetal color. Like I love those pieces. They were like so detailed. Like the molding was so well made. That those mid those like red skin minifigures um, from that. Um, no, that that way few few years back, like 2017. Every time, every time, great minifigs, every freaking time, and I'm just enjoying looking at the new Ninjago stuff because I can always expect something new to show up, every time. Legacy, uh, golden Nia in this one. New color of that windscreen. Oh, it's like 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 a sea blue, yeah, like like a more like a. How do we call it? How do we, would we call it? Like it's more like a like a, a azure blue, like a transparent azure blue. I really like. Yeah, I think that wins that the transparent elements in this will be like like a teal blue, maybe a teal, like a transparent teal kind of situation. Looks like an advanced navy seal diver. Good good comparison. Like yeah, you can do like navy seals with those helmets. Kind of cool, like very modern. Hand of time, 2017. Thank you, Mahan. I, I forgot the name of the 
of that season, Hands of Time. Yes, exactly those. They had like this crazy like uh, dark gray armors. I love these with snakes and stuff. Do like those modes were like so high quality. Ninja Go or Ninja Go. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I say Ninja Go or Ninja Go. I don't know. Whichever works. Another dragon. Fire dragon attack. Uh, yeah, the dragons are like are, are getting better and better in Ninja Go. Like, I don't think there's a bad dragon. Like, when there's like a dragon set, usually a dragon is just cool. I mean, dragons are cool. Come on, right? This one is nice, obviously. Nothing, I think, too innovative, but... There's one more, I think, in the sea. Oh, this one. There you go. 757 pieces. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not mentioning the price, uh, prices or, or, you know, or the piece counts, but you can see them on the screen. I just like... I'm just gazing over those pictures. Well, I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos today. I'm, I'm gonna, I have a session today where I'm gonna sit down and record bits of everything announced. <laughs> and I think you will see like me spamming YouTube for like every hour or something. I, I have a setup. I have a plan to just cover all these and s make them into separate quick videos. So I, I may post like 10 videos today. I don't know. Like I have a plan. I have a, we have a plan. John, we have a plan. I kind of want to do it, like, because it's so much to talk about in single stream, but, uh... All right, so here we have the, I think, the, 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 ba the bad uh, antagonist for the first time. This drug is amazing, by the way. This is, this is like, it's Aquazone combined. I said Ninjargo. <laughs> Ninjach, Jachgo, Nichjachgo. Yu-Gi-Oh. Is that only a helmet? It extends to the belt. Wow. Wait, wait like that, that underwater guy? This is... I think like, remember the the Mecha Dragon from Ninjago movie? Like that was kind of the first type of like a serpent dragon that Ninjago made when it was like more like a longer than, than wider. It's kind of like this except for water. It, it This guy reminds me of that. Uh, the the the, Z the Lloyd's Mecha Dragon from the movie uh, sets. You actually hate the Water Dragon? Why? I think it's kind of unique. It's it's more like a serpent. Um, you know, I mean, I'm biased here because I love color blue. <laughs> but yeah, the head is I think all printed. Looks like it. The jaw is awesome. The jaw has joints. I like those pieces here in blue. I think it's kind of cool. I like that little sub too. Oh wow, what is that? Holy... What is this? Look at that build. With that cool like... This minifig. Who is that? Is, is that... Uh, who is that? It's too long? Hmm. Fair enough. Who is that? Enhance! <laughs> Computer! Computer! We need to enhance how far I can go. Oh! Well! Wait, where am I? Ah! I'm too far! No! No! Stop! Abort! 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 Mission abort! Okay. Enhance! <laughs> Nobody saw that. Uh, who is that? Wrong set! No! Franco, welcome. Who is this? Is that Nia? No, I think that's... Is that Samurai? Yeah. Unhands! An, an <laughs> Ener energy Nia, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think, yeah, that... that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nia! Uh-huh. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, and this guy. Pretty neat. Man, that's a good stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these. Uh, money and space limitations, that's all it is. But yeah, if if uh, if uh, if Lego like send it to me or something, that would be great. Good stuff, all right, unenhance. Computer, unenhance, thank you. Temple of Endless Sea, thousand, that's a flagship. 1060 pieces, 100 euro. Wow. 
I really... Okay, we, we, we gotta give kudos for the box art. We gotta give kudos for the box art. Don't you guys think? Somebody, somebody needs a, a good bonus for that box art. I think it's great. Good, good color balance, design, graphic-wise. Reminds me kind of of the old-style LEGO boxes. I think that's a very appealing box. Overall, like this, this whole like uh, composition. This composition, this. this. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's nice, it's very well made. I think kudos whoever designed this. Overall, that that the the, the uh, merchandising, the look of that beam is very appealing. Aquazon, yeah, like yeah, yeah, right. Like Aaron, like remember Aquazon like setups on the boxes and like in the catalogs from the nineties. That kind of like a, like it. Mm -hmm. Aquazon vibes, which I think that's why it appeals to me because I loved Aquazon. I freaking loved Aquazon to bits. Those yellow subs and that was amazing team. Ice Planet and Aquazone. That was amazing. That was amazing. Alright, so what do we have here? Uh, enhance? <laughs> no. Maybe that's not enhance yet. But uh but, uh, but, uh, but uh, uh we got a, a giant dragon head. This is like this build. Oh, enhance. This build is awesome. The thief, like is that a piece specifically for this? Wow, we'll see. Uh three builds, kind of like a yeah, I think it's a it's a fun, fun playset. It's a fun place. Like I like this thing. Like whatever that thing is. Like a dragon, serpent, sea serpent. I think that's a special mold. Computer. Computer. Siri. Uh. Uh. Alexa. Enhance. Uh. <laughs> sorry. Uh. Whoever just got Alexa activated. Um. Google Assistant. Hey. Google. Uh, enhance. All, all of you. Ah! Not too far, too far. Too, no, 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 no you, you didn't see that, no. I'm trying to figure out, I think there is a, there is a custom dual mold. Those teeth, the golden teeth. I think that that's all molded in. Yeah, you see? This is like a... It's, a, it's an amazing mold. I want a, I want a full dragon scaled to that head. Don't you guys think? What is that over here? Like, look at that circular opening. We're doing a deep analysis here of those sets, like, and and that that base in golden scales. Look at that piece. See that element. This is a great build. That like kind of like a gangan opening, like <laughs> gangan under underwater sea. My iPad and Alexa just went off. Oh, I'm sorry. We should. We should. We <laughs> I don't want to troll anybody. Oh, that's a metal bird beard. Bird, bird, beard, bird. I, I keep messing up. Like, how do you say beard and bird? Yeah, that you're true. You're right. In gold. This is gonna be a fun set for sure. This is great. Uh, we got the coral piece here. Okay, just like trying to find something cool. And I think we found something cool in here. This guy has a pretty, pretty cool build. Uh, that minifig is awesome. Uh, but I think the minifig wise, this set is not that that crazy like as the previous ones. But we get the bad guy. We get the um, the fish monster. <laughs> and we get, oh, we get this minifigure in this set too. So pretty good. Nice. Okay. Uh, computer, unenhanced. Ah! No. No. no not this click. Oh, I clicked something else. Hey, we're gonna talk about it later, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be a longer stream. <laughs> Unenhance, thank you. I got, I got, I should maybe close some tabs or something. All right. Uh, this is, this is dope. It's like freaking, um, what was that like? 20,000 mile journey under the sea. The, um, what was that ship from, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and from that uh, underwater sea journey like classic tale uh, that was the uh, what was that ship's name uh, the Atlantis no remember that classic Nautilus thank you that there you go Nautilus looks like a Nautilus am I right very strong vibes 
What was that 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 old classic tale, uh, Twenty Thousand Miles of Underwater Journey? Like, what was the title? This is good. So that 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 is I, I gotta say that is a very fresh take. <clears throat> that is a very fresh take on the Destiny's Bounty. So I, I only know that the Polish title, which is like 20,000 mil podwodnej żeglugi, which is like Polish title, which is like 20,000 leagues under the sea. Thank you. I never heard that the translation like so. I only know the Polish version of this title. Uh, yeah, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. There you go. So yeah, uh, 1159 pieces, 140 euro flagship. So it's bigger than this. So I, I would say amazing take on the Destiny's Bounty. Uh, we have all kinds of Destiny's Bounties, but I think this is the first time we're getting this. I like really the, the underwater, like the, the, the cupola here, and we have like some living quarters under. I think it's a decent build, like really cool looking. We get two subs along with that, a, a third, like a, what is this, underwater chariot? <laughs> like a manta leading it. By the way, that manta print is pretty cool. So you see like this thing appears on the box, so I wonder if that's gonna be like a build in the future, but probably not. It's only like here in this set, like like a thing. Nemo sub, Captain Nemo sub, yes, Captain Nemo, absolutely. I think this set like, first of all the box, is, the box art is amazing, again. Um, but I think it's a really cool like sleek looking sub. Very fresh take. Uh, I like that Lego went that way. What is that piece? Kind of like a new type of blade. Hmm. I like the build for the propellers here. I think those are shields. Enhance. <laughs> Hashtag enhance. I, I gotta. I'm doing like manual enhancement on Chrome with like a shortcut. I cannot zoom more than that. I guess. So those are shields. Um, this is a new type of blade too, I think. And this one, hashtag enhance. Um, they, do they have harpoons? I think that's, they have harpoons, obviously. They're like shooting daggers and stuff. Navy SEAL Team 6. Ninja Go Team 6. Um, man, this is a, such a cool build. I. There's a periscope? <laughs> good, good stuff. This is a good set. I don't know, like, I think Ninjago is like every, like, every year Ninjago is knocking things out of the park. Don't you guys think? It's not, it's not something I'm getting, like, uh, religiously, but I always appreciate Ninjago. I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not, I'm only not getting Ninjago because of, of just money restraints. And, and the fact that I I, I, I I have shamelessly low space for displaying all this stuff. Like, I if I got all these things from Ninjago, I, I would have to keep them in the boxes. Honestly, it's just insane. There's so many good sets. Um, and I'm just... yeah. Oh, those are the shuttle doors, you're right! Those are the space shuttle doors from the door uh, cargo bay. In transparent blue, that's amazing, Lego. That's that's awesome. That that's of course. I mean, Lego never does a, a part to be used in one set. Obviously, like when they when they created the shuttle mold, uh, they had they had already used for it. I think these are coming out June first. I think. Uh, let's let's double check. Um, should be at the top of the article. Uh, June, yeah. Uh, it just says June. But I'm assuming it's gonna be June 1st. I think everything comes out. Uh, June 1st is, is every year. June 1st is just like this big fat drop. And everybody's wallet cried. And as if I, if I heard a thousand cries at once. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's June 1st in LEGO World every year. Like the, the, the fat summer drop. We have two fat drops usually per year. The fat drops, not the normal drops. Like the normal drop you would see like at April 26th drop last time. That was like a normal drop. But the fat drop, hashtag fat drop, it's usually June and uh, November, before Christmas. This is the June fat drop, this is the summer drop. That's like, around this time of year, 
we usually get all the toy fairs, like we get the New York toy fair, the Nuremberg. We get all this stuff because I think everything is right now either like uh, uh, exclusive to the to the market or just virtual. Uh, we don't see the sets on conventions or anything. We just this is the time when Lego unveils all the summer stuff around this time of year every year. And usually June first is just the fat drop number one of the year. Uh, the spring drop can be also big, but not as big as the as the summer drop. This is basically, this is like the cycle when Lego basically re refreshes all the themes on in summer every year. Millions of wallets cried in terror and then went immediately silent because they were out of money and bought everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, so moving away from Ninja Go, I think it's great. Good job on this one, Lego. Did you say fat drop? Yeah, like a merch drop. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah. The hashtag fat drop, hashtag Lego fat drop. Yes. Um, all right. Back to creator. Coffee is still good. As if that castle wasn't good enough, which is great. I mean, the castle is amazing. We get a much more affordable uh, Ferris wheel. The fun size. <laughs> Get it? This is the fun size. This is, this is fun. <laughs> it's a fun size set. Fat, PH, fat drop, fat. Fun and bump. And again, get, uh, get get this three times and you have a small uh, uh, a small uh, theme park there you go fun size I like the the balloon the puddle balloon oh this guy is like making making like animal balloons very nice so yeah in case you missed on the giant ferris wheel this is the fun size minions colors you're right yeah blue and uh, and yellow so we get the swings uh, and the bumper cars. Finally, finally Lego bumper cars as a side build for a three in one. Better than nothing, I guess. Um, I think this was leaked before, but we got a small space shuttle. So Lego's pushing. Okay, this is amazing because you can build the Saturn V. This is great. Oh boy, Lego. Lego, you're freaking nailing it. They want us to buy all these sets, like three of all, because they're finally paying attention to the side builds. This is your ultimate NASA set. <laughs> buy three and you get like the Shuttle, the Saturn V and the Apollo 11. With all in one set. This is awesome, actually. How much is this? 50 euro. This is gonna be 40 feet, okay. Oh boy. How do I even skip this as a proper NASA fan? <clears throat> Alex, welcome back. 805, welcome. How do I skip this as a NASA fan? How do I even... Is that the Hubble? I don't think that's the Hubble. That's something else. That's a satellite. <clears throat> it's so cute. Swooshable. Good job, Lego. Now I... Now I... I need... I, I, I think I might need to sell some sets or something. I... I did. I... Oh, boy. Too much things to like, too many, too many things to like in this wave. Good stuff. Friends, <laughs> as if that wasn't enough. Uh, now uh, all the parents in the chat, you can leave now or just hide your screens. Uh, I, I highly advise to do so. Just checking if my girls are not watching. Oh boy, let's go. Um, I, I, I'm not, this is not going to be a long stream for those of you who are joining. I'm not even, I'm not keeping my usual um, time limit today because I'm not even halfway, I don't know. I'm not even halfway there, I guess. 
All right, let's dive in. This is coming from, uh, I think the head of Friends is still Amy Corbett. Uh, she's she's the she's the juror, uh, the host, the co the juror, the co-host of the season two of Lego Masters. I met her uh, for season one Lego Masters USA. She's she and Jamie Berard are the Lego people, Lego Lego judges. Uh, in the show and she, she's coming back for season two and she's the head I think she's the head of friends and she's very talented and uh, I, I I think I, I did talk to her uh, And said so like uh, your friend stuff is amazing. I think she she designed some sets, but I right now. I think she's head of friends. I'm not sure But but she's nailing it my girls love friends and I I was I was lucky enough to tell that to, to her and and I love friends sets personally I actually like I don't review them on the channel, but I my my friends my 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 girls are getting friend sets, and they love them. So, all right, forest waterfall, foresty stuff, very nice. Uh, Treehouse, very nice. I like the small friend. Are the kids not watching? Everybody, good or oh, good parents? Okay, Heart Lake City Grand Hotel. Very nice. Look at all this stuff. Are you telling me you can decorate the hotel in autumn or in winter stuff? This is brilliant. You can totally customize the hotel to look according to the season. You get all the pieces. Brilliant Lego, very good, very good. Hotel manager in the outfit there, or like a yeah. Another roller coaster. There you go. Magical fun for roller coaster. There's a bunny from the hat on the top. <clears throat> so yeah, Amy, if you're watching, uh, good job, good job. She's either head of friends stuff or she's very like a senior designer. I like that bunny. I think you can. There is a lever. There is a lever that you can use to, and just pops up. <laughs> All right. This could fit very well into any fun fair, like into fair build. Just remove the minifigures if you don't like the friends dolls, and you have an excellent build. Param, welcome. How you doing? We're just going through tons of tons of sets. So that's one. F I, I have three friends tabs. This is the first of them. So we got that. There's a friend's school that's coming from brickfanatics.com. He has a bunch of pictures. I don't think there are details to it, but uh, there it's official. So the school is another set. There's a, the Heart Lake City school. I think that one is like like a stable, like a forest stable. Very cool. Um. There is a, a camper van. There is a camper van too. And uh, a bunch of like backpacks or something or mini rooms. My kids got a few of these from that like animal line, but they, they love them. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more stuff. The school is awesome. Enhance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! I didn't do anything. Can oh, can I actually just? There you go. That that's the stable set. This one has horses. I hope my girls are not watching. Holy smokes! The pine trees. Oh, it's changing automatically. Okay, I'm not. Oh, you can pause that. Okay. Uh, and that's the camp camper van. And a sailboat. There you go. This is good. Good stuff. The school is good. Everything is good. What else is there? I got another tab. There is more. But wait, there is more. <laughs> there is even more than that, you guys. This thing, whatever that is. A little bakery or cafe. I think it's, a, it's a, like a bakery. Oh, stop. Stop. 
Uh, another fun for like smaller fair build, like a magician show, I guess. Nice. You can see that that roller coaster in the back, kind of. Ooh boy, all the princesses out there. This is awesome. And a small fairy's wheel. <laughs> So there's a there's a whole sub theme of the f magical fair in France right now. What do you guys think? Good stuff, huh? Friends is so underrated. No wonder this is like the most selling uh, theme. I think like, like Friends year year to year uh, back to back, it's always like one of the most best selling themes in Lego. It's so appealing. All right, we got this stuff. <laughs> it just keeps coming. They just keep on coming, man. They just keep on coming. We have not enough ammunition to, to get all of these. All right. Enhance very much. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Please, please tell me I can do it. Oh, my, I want to do it so bad. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Goofy and Pluto. Can't be. Can't be. Impossible. I do not believe it. I am not seeing this with my own eyes. So long have we, have we been waiting. For how long? Finally. About time. Goofy, welcome. Pluto, welcome. It's a, it's a very cute, yeah, I mean, such a missing name. Such a missing character. Uh, this is coming from the Mickey uh, and Friends show, I believe. So we get Mickey and Minnie on top of that. By the way, I'm gonna get this set for the minifigs. Uh, and um, I should give it to my kids, right? Is that how it's supposed to work? Can you not tell them? But uh, we get Fireman, Mickey and Minnie, which is funny. So just the minifigs in the set are fantastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, wait, but, but we got Goofy in the train, right? Okay, so Goofy is like not that big of a deal, but Pluto is. Pluto is. I th Yeah, I forgot that Goofy came out in the train, right? I forgot that. But, but Pluto. And we get Space Mickey and Minnie. Also, like the minifigs are fantastic. I like that alien. Um, and the rocket. <laughs> but yeah, just the minifigs alone. Minifigs are great. Long have I waited. I know. Yeah, I, I think I mentioned, like, where is Pluto? When when the first, like, Disney series came out, or the second, and then the second came out, and I was like, where is Pluto? Why, why is there no Pluto? Finally, like, yeah. The dog that's always there, like, Mickey's dog, and he's always there. Um, Alright, so we got that. I really want those minifigs, all of them. Yes, this is the first time Pluto is appearing in a set. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So there is that. Oh boy. Uh, un should we? Yes, unenhanced computer. Thank you. Unenhanced. Oh wait, there is more. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh boy, this minifig. The I want them all. Why do I want them all? Why? I just like Mickey. Oh man. Okay, this actually this is a good thing it's a small set, probably a ten dollar set. We get the flying Mickey, pilot Mickey. Uh yeah, <laughs> great fig. And then ice cream shop. Oh we get Daisy too, nice. Okay, so this one's just mini and daisy. Very nice. Cute, but not as as, as desired, but uh still. Wait, did we ever get Daisy? Chat, did we ever have Daisy? 
ever. Is this the first time? If so, that's a big deal. Anyway. So the, the, the crew is... Do you ever get Daisy? Do you ever get Daisy? I, I can't recall. We got Donald. Oh, she was in the castle. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was, she was, right. Sorry. And we got Daisy CMF? Okay. I I have those minifigs. I, I think I, I still have them somewhere packed. I didn't display them, so I, I, didn't, I, I forget. I forget. I forget. Disney Series 1 and the castle. Okay, okay, so it's nothing. It's not a... Okay. Thank you. Thank you, chat. As, as I was saying, boom! Minecraft. A game that everybody plays, but I have never played ever. Maybe once, but I, like I don't play the game. The dungeons, though, it seems like a fun game. Uh, I think I saw Brickitect playing it. Uh, it's like a like a Diablo Minecraft. I should play it. I think it's fun. Right. Minecraft enhance. The horse stable. All right. Small set. I'm just like gonna, I'm gonna probably speed up here. All right. We got three horses in one set. A skeleton horse too. A ruined portal. What is that thing? What is that? I think they get new helmets too. I have no idea how anything in Minecraft works. I have no idea what's a high end gear or low end gear. I have no clue. What's the progression in Minecraft? Never played the game, really, uh, seriously. So chat, please forgive me. Excuse me. Uh, but I have no idea about Minecraft. I always like the sets though. For some reason, I always like the sets because they are so natural occurrence in Lego. And like Minecraft and Lego, just like the blockiness is just natural between the two. The Sky Tower. Um... Uh, so I think there's a new weapon uh, and there's a new helmet. Somebody was mentioning like somewhere else that she has wings or something. She has a new helmet. Somebody like was commenting it's like an end game. It's like an end game gear, like high level gear. Do you even level up in Minecraft? I'm such a, I'm such a noob. I'm such a Minecraft boomer who has no idea what he's talking about. Is that the, okay. I remember the cat's name is Ocelot, right? That's all I remember. But I think uh, that's like a like an end game uh, equipment she's using. Is that what what it is? The the thingies are whatever. I have no idea what the name of these creatures is. But you guys can can and can um, you guys can educate me. But yeah, she has like a trident weapon of sorts. You level up until you die. Sounds like life. <laughs> I could explain, but do you have three hours? <laughs> Tobias, hi. Uh, no, I, I don't. Maybe next time. Maybe on some build stream. Like when we have like a, like a... When I get that castle and the pirate ship from Creator and we do like an eight hour stream, we can talk about Minecraft. You, can, you guys can educate me. I, I'm down. I'm down. Like, the, the reason I don't play all these, like, crafty games that require a lot of effort is just because I have no time. Dudes, I'm playing, and dudettes, I'm playing The Witcher 3 right now, and I'm like, I'm like 60 hours into the campaign with doing all the side quests, and that's already a lot. If you want to play Minecraft and get something done, I think you have to play even more. That's why I'm not playing any multiplayer games, because to get good, I would have to, like stop doing what I'm doing on the cool factor forever and just play games. Like, I'm not doing that. That's, I'm not wasting my time like that. <laughs> I need more time for, for like running this channel. Anyway, create your own treehouse, the modern treehouse. This is a cool set. I like this one. Hate. <laughs> I don't hate, I don't like, I never played. I, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes here. I know there are people who love Minecraft. I know there are people who are just not playing Minecraft. I'm the person who doesn't play Minecraft. And do you have minifigs with a cat costume and a panda costume? That's that's something that I like. It has like a nice bedroom. It's a cool set. It's a really cool set. It's so blocky yet so like you can you can take it. 
and place it in like a modern Lego city, saying like, hey, look, it's a, Lo it's a Los Angeles modern house somewhere in Beverly Hills. Boom. And this this guy in a cat suit is just some billionaire that's a bit eccentric, and that's his brother. That's it. It's like, if you live in LA, I don't, but if you live in LA, you see those people every day in their multi-billion dollar homes dressed up like cats. That's normal. It's like what million, what a billion dollars in, in equity or in your net value does to you. You have a multi-billion dollar mansion that looks like a Minecraft house and you just hang out in a cat suit all day. That's all you do if you have a billion dollars. There you go. And you have freaking seagulls. See that I told you guys, this is California home. Those are seagulls. I know those are chickens, I'm just joking, okay? Oh, and you have like... And that's a YouTuber. That's a LA YouTuber, right here. Probably. Like your neighbor. <laughs> um, yeah. And you have golden swords too. Like if you're a, a Los Angeles multi-billionaire, you, you have golden swords too. So that checks out. Not sure about the TNT though. Probably that's illegal, but... Yeah. Already have Cat and Panda CMF, what? Alright, this is the uh, Minecraft Dungeons set, so this is from that game. I gotta play that game, I, I heard like people people really like it, and I've seen uh, Brick Brickitech playing it. Uh, and I think it's fun, it's like a, like a easygoing uh, dungeon crawler, uh, like Diablo. Um, okay, cool creature, I never played the game, I just saw some streams. Alright, so... Good figs, a purple zombie, or, or creeper, whatever that is. Uh, that thing is cool. The, is that the golem, right? Oh, my, I think my umbrella just fell on in the backyard. <laughs> anyway, uh, this looks like like a like a lesson from The Witcher, <laughs> kind of. Like like a like a for, maybe a forest golem, or like a. Like an elemental. Anyway. I gotta play the game to appreciate it, I guess. Good minifigs, though. Alright, that's the Minecraft for you. That's we, we, We're stopping butchering Minecraft right now from a, like a noob like me. I That's Groot. That's a good point, Brick Star Wars boy. Kind of like a I am Groot. Enhance. I am Groot. Yeah, like a, like an old Groot, like a Grandpa Groot, like a evil Groot. Yeah, there we go. Like if 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 Vin Diesel actually became Groot, <laughs> like a chunky Groot, Chungus, big Chungus Groot. Cause you know Groot is like voiced by Vin Diesel, <laughs> and this guy is like a bit packed, jam packed, you know. Thick Groot, with double C, yes. Unenhance. Perfect. Go okay, we got Minecraft covered. Holy smokes! And I'm not, I'm not even like okay. We gotta speed up. I, I, I mean, I have time. I have time. It depends if you guys have time. This is gonna be a long stream, because usually I say like, okay, everybody, we're gonna do the stream in like an hour thirty, so everybody can watch it. Um, today the rules are. The, the, the rules are off the table. Today we're sitting and we, we go through all this stuff. It's like one time of the year. This one time of the year in, in, in early summer or late spring that we get just all this stuff at once. Like over... And I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if I finish the stream and I refresh the, the websites an hour from now and there's gonna be more stuff. I don't know. The coffee? I mean, almost finished, but it's cold, yeah. Like an end from the Lord of the Rings. Dots! Alright. So we get uh, designer dots. Ooh. So finally Lego moved away, like moving forward <clears throat> with the dots from the small packs to big stuff. And I think this is... Don't you guys think this is uh, like a mock builder dream come true? Don't you guys think? Hey, uh, hey, Alec, welcome. I think that's Mock Builder's dream come true, because you get this, and you get a ton of very useful tiles. 
don't you guys think for like um, detail work or decoration you get like we get printed letters I'm gonna say it's gonna be selling like hotcakes for mock people don't you guys think useful colors good price I think how much is this we don't know Oh, we know. Actually, we knew now. So, a small pack. That's pretty good. 120 pieces for 4 bucks. Extra dots. I, I think I'm just gonna buy a few for my girls. They love decorating with those. They have the bracelets and all this stuff. And they just love... I, I just have never enough pieces for them. So, I, just, I think I'm just gonna grab a few of these for them. And they're gonna be super happy. And I'm gonna grab that box. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Lots of dots. <laughs> Thousand dots in a box. For 20 bucks? Dude, this is great. Thousand dots for 20 bucks. Come on. Why am I excited about a single one by one tiles? Why? But beat that price to piece ratio. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um... I mean, they're... Okay, non-printed, though. Non-printed. Okay, non-printed, but still. A pencil holder. This is cool. I want that one for my desk. <laughs> the little cat. Um, Multipack summer vibes. Yay. Sun, please. This is cute. Creative designer box. This one is more expensive. It's it's 40, bu 40 bucks, but still You get uh, printed letters and all that Yeah, I mean Get crafty and you get a book with uh, ideas. Okay. Oh, you get extra plates you get a key. I Think these are uh, uh, these are good idea. Very good idea from Lego Um just for mock builders and just to have extra tiles uh, like everywhere are they out of the mind 20 bucks for thousand pieces really yeah it's, it's i think it's a good price holy smokes all right oh boy wait there is more <laughs> maybe like should i go for lunch we've been live for I don't know. How long have you been live, guys? Let me check. Uh, well, we, we, we way past time right now. One hour, 37 minutes. Yeah, I know. But we have to report. We have to continue with our journey. Like, the, I'm, I'm taking my time because I, I, I took all the effort to not see those sets for too long or build my opinion. Like, what you guys seeing is what I'm seeing for the first time. I was just, like, seeing the thumbnails by clicking through the tabs. But, uh, I, I, like, this is, like, I, I'm, 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 I'm stoked as be, I'm not acting here. I'm just, like, seeing them for the first time in detail uh, on the stream. So, uh, all right. CD, enhance. Um, so first thing you notice here, uh, new piece for the suspension. Uh, action, a turning action, a small buggy like this. This is great, Lego. I think you, you don't see it very well, but it's a new suspension piece with a turning function. So you'll be able, this is a big deal because I think you're gonna be able to make small vehicles like this. Finally, like being able to, um, to kind of turn and and, and 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 do stuff. You can also see a bit of a, a extra molding here for like a like like a little light accent. See? There's an updated piece as well. So it is pretty cool. I think it's 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 a small thing that I think is gonna make this set so much better. Yeah that's an ATV. Why why is YouTube hiding your comments? Uh, I'm not sure why why YouTube is hiding Alex comments. I'm not I'm not sure why. Um, oh, and we had the monkeys, two monkeys in one set, so this is cool, and I think it's a new monkey. 
A new monkey, can you imagine? After all those years, a new monkey. We have a drone. The turning function is, a, is kind of like a big deal. It's a, it's a new system. But I think like LEGO tried to innovate in the city. Like we had those water cannons, remember? We had a few other things. Like helicopters with, you know, flying function. Uh, it's a wild drive rescue off-road. So this one basically is a, is a 10 bucks set. Not, not too shabby. This is $45. What? No, that can't be right. No, no. <laughs> that can't be right. No. No. That, no, what? Because we have a lion? No, that, that can't be right. Come on. Are you kidding me? No. Guys. Is that a typo? Are you, are you saying that we're paying 50 bucks, $35 because there's a lion in there and a printed snake? And it's a 4 plus. No. No, 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 And two burps? Big ugly rock pieces? I'm, I'm, I don't want to like search for another source right now, but if that's not a typo, that's very expensive. You get you get a, an adult lion, that's for sure, and a cub, and a printed snake, which is cool. I get it, but uh, it's not like forty-five dollar cool. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's if that's uh, if that's real because Lego was overpricing stuff, especially for new detailed worlds like this in the past. But this is ridiculous, and we get like a one-piece amphibious car body. Remember, it's a 4 plus set, so they gotta keep it under a certain simplicity. Um, and this is exactly what it is. It's a one piece uni unibody. It's a cyber truck. <laughs> hey, Kerson, aloha. Yeah, we got a lion cub and an adult lion. So that's cool, but again, 45 bucks? No. That's a no. Wildlife rescue operations. Wow, these are expensive. Wow. But yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, I agree with the cookies. Um, elef we got elephant family, a small elephant and a mom, elephant mom. But the pricing like reflects that very crazily. Uh, a cool, like helicopter build is very uh, usual. Got a, yeah, that's nothing special here. We got the, mon the new monkeys. Uh, as well, all right. But and the so there's, there's a bunch of animals. We get the crocodile or alligator or whatever. Uh, hey, see you later, alligator. Uh, we get the printed eggs with a little like uh, baby alligator eye. That's that. Okay, that's cool. But why is uh, mods? Can you tell me why Alec has all the comments? I, I you can't tell. I, I I have no idea what's going on. But every time he comments, it's all good for you. Like I'm not, you're not doing anything wrong. But um, I see that YouTube is just hiding his comments for some reason. Um, phew, that's expensive, man. But the elephant is amazing. Okay, the elephant, is, mwah, very good. So good, good animal molds. Price is whoa. Price is pricey. Price is pricey. Let's move on from that crazy expensive stuff. Is that it? <gasps> I think we went through all the sets. Oh boy, is there anything else? Hold on, let me check. Computer, search for new Lego. Computer, anything that was reported over the last hour that we have no idea about yet. Now, the newest drop was the Harry Potter brick heads. Oh, and like brick bricks, it has review of them already. Okay. All right. Let's see, uh, promo bricks. I'm just checking if there's anything like that that dropped on top of all everything. No, speed jumps was the freshest. Uh, yes, yeah, speed champions was the sort of a newest. And Pro promo bricks is not loading for me, by the way, for some reason. Mm. Oh, my, my, my nose kind of like uh, 
wants me to sneeze. Uh, no, nothing new. Oh, one more. Oh, wow. Can I show that? Hold on. Oh, the Bad Bad Shuttle was revealed by a, by a Lego ad? Are you kidding me? Can I show that? Uh, I think, oh my, I don't, I don't know. Cause it's, it's from like a banner from like a German Lego ad. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna show it just, just for the sake. I don't know. Just, just dropped on Brick Fanatics, but you can go look it up. But there's one more set I can show, I think. Boom. Check this one out. Another creature from Creator 3-in-1. Uh, a crocodile. And we get a, also the snake or the serpent and the frog. Neat! <laughs> I would say that's pretty neat. There you go. That's a 31121 set number. That's cool. So, yeah, the, the Bad Bad Shuttle was shown in an ad that LEGO posted online. Uh, but I, I don't know if they retracted it or not. That maybe just like a... Uh, I'm not gonna show it yet. Maybe we're gonna talk about it next week or something. Uh, the teeth look awesome, yeah. And we have like a little that that bird that cleans uh, crocodile carpets. Like, like they have those birds that just like uh, get all the like creatures from their skin. The three in one aquarium. Uh, did they did they show the aquarium? No, I don't see that one yet. All right, uh, things things just keep dropping, guys, as we speak. That's kind of insane. But we, I still have a few things to cover, maybe quickly, actually, because I don't want to go too long. Like, I, I want to go longer, but not too long. All right. Computer, switch to screen. Thank you. Lego has just announced the uh, ZX8000 Bricks collection. Six new shoes. So, you know what? I thought they would be, like, Lego builds. And I think there is a Lego build coming with that. But those are actual shoes. <laughs> I don't want to play the ad because probably there's some music in it. But uh, May 7 release and you get like... I still don't like Adidas shoes for some reason. So that's for all of you sneakerheads out there. I guess. Alright. I guess. Different colors. Yay. Shoes. Alright. Cool. Uh, I just want to mention that we did talk about video. So I don't want to dwell too deep into that. On this stream, there's a lot to unveil here. Um, you go watch my video, I, I did have a deep dive. I just wanna say that LEGO Video Series 2 should have been LEGO Video Series 1, because we actually get good sets. Minifigs are Bandmate Series 2, solid stuff. I made a whole video on this, so I don't wanna repeat myself. Uh, but highlights from this one, in case anybody missed that, are we have five new sets, actual builds coming with special minifigures, Many figures are through the roof amazing. Uh, builds are decent as well. We have a crazy car with a hip hop beat car, which is kind of has like a Transformers head on it. Go watch my video if you want to see all that uh, in full detail. We have a unicorn stage, which is also pretty cool. We have a unicorn minifigure. Uh, and I think that the flagship, there's a pirate ship of sorts that uh, carries a, a pirate rock band. Uh, so there's that. Looks like hidden side to me, like in that color scheme. Kind of like a hidden side situation here. And th there's a flagship beatbox set that creates a stage or uh, switches into a, like a display uh, beatbox. Let me just show you that one. Uh, can, we, can we go to the, to the da database? Um, I think we can go... Here, yeah, they have the, its own brick set. So this this thing looks super cool, actually. I think this looks cool. I think it, it's like the, the, the functionality of this becoming a, a beatbox. It's pretty darn cool. So this is how video should have been in the first place. I think they should have launched that in the first place, get the hype up because people would actually like this much more and it would sell much better. And now they're trying to kind of save it by doing this as a second wave. So the first time we only had the bandmates and the beatboxes. Nobody liked the price of the beatboxes. <sighs> and now we have this. So it should have been like the other way around. So yeah, go watch my video. I don't want to spend too much time on this. There's a lot to talk about. I, I did like a 25 minute video. <laughs> 
just going through these. I don't want to do it again. So there is that, right? Uh, what we can talk about quickly is that they Lego also shared for some reason they shared the prototypes for video designs. And I'm just gonna stop here and just wanna browse through here like we've just showing you what video could have been and how was the design process going, which is I think fascinating because not very often Lego is sharing uh, behind the scenes of a Lego theme like that. Um, and I think they had like a concept for kind of like a cardboard display elements to go with these, which I think are pretty darn cool. Like the way you integrated this with the build that could have been a thing, I guess. They had like a, some poster kind of thing going on there. Uh, I think that could have been included inside the set. Should have been a thing, honestly. Like 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 a like a like a concert merch or something. That is cool. Uh, Pirate Punk. Yeah, I like these these like cardboard sort of like scenes cutouts. Or maybe these are only, you know what? Maybe these are only for Lego stores for merchandising. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe that's not even something that a co consumer would get. Perhaps. We don't know. But they look cool nevertheless, right? They look really cool. But wait, there is more. They had like a bunch of like mini like sound system builds that were supposed to be a part of all this. I'm not sure how these were supposed to be a thing. Maybe poly bags, maybe something. But they have a themed like sound systems that they were kind of looking at to make, but they never made it. But just like looking at those builds, I think they're very cute. Every single one is like a, either a speaker system or a boombox. Um, and I think those are like great designs. And could have been like a, like a mini series, like a Brickheads or something. And uh, this could have been so much better than the boomboxes. I think that was like to replace the boomboxes, but they went with the boombox and the minifigure setup. This could have been so much better if we were getting a minifigure, like in the boomboxes, uh, and, 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 and a build of this in each pack. Imagine how cool that would have been. I think that's the original concept for the boomboxes. And yet we got whatever we got, you know, like a little carrying case for 20 bucks. Um, so that could have been better, in my opinion, that, that could have been so much better. Okay, now we need to use that enhance function very closely. You guys ready? You guys ready? I didn't time it right. Computer, thank you for the enhance. What is happening in this picture? What is happening in this picture? I think that's breaking the matrix. A one by five? Are you out of your mind? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that... Okay, so what's the story here? Is that true that Kobe was blocking Lego from making a 1x5 for all those years? Are you telling me that uh, a very... I mean, it's not like a game breaker. Maybe it is, I don't know. Because you always can go with like 1x4 plus 1x1, whatever. But I was, I was asking this question myself for years. Like, why is Lego not doing a 1x5? Or 1x7 for but like 1x7 is like less desired, but a 1x5 I don't know like but there's I think people were saying there's something of like like pet I, I don't even know like license licensing for a brick shape Patent no if anything Lego was holding the patent for interlocking bricks for the longest time and they, they were not allowed to be copied for the longest time, but ever since that that expired like we have Kobe and, and Mega Constructs and you know, but uh, uh, Brickman, hey, no worries, man. Uh, don't don't be sorry. Uh, so it's uh, 
It's a one by five. I mean, why now? Like, why? I'm trying to like find the the answer here. Why now? I mean, it's 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 gonna be a useful piece, and it's in the boom box. It's it's inside in that boom box set in the from the video. That's from that set. And people notice that. I, I didn't even notice that in the first place when I was looking at the video. I didn't notice that. But like, can you guys tell me the reason why? Because like it can finally like reinforce like one by five wide builds or something. I think that is a kind of a big deal because it can just enable Lego to do a bit differently scaled sets in the long run. I think like imagine using that in like speed champions or something that that kind of varies greatly depending if you are adding or retracting a stud of width. Uh, that can be a big deal for just shaping the entire sets. Because you can finally say like, like Lego designers can finally go like, okay, so I have a 1x5 and I need to follow all those like structure integrity guidelines in a Lego set. So, but, but I always had to do it like 1x6 wide because I, I'm required to use 1x6 uh, plates. But now they will say, Oh, I have a 1x5, so I can make this set slightly scaled better. Better, like, slightly better scaled, because I have a 1x5. Because this is reinforced by LEGO standards, right? You, you get the idea, right? So I think it's it's gonna be, like, a, a, a nice opening for new type of sets that are scaled a bit differently, and maybe more, like, in favor of what the designer wants. Who knows? But it's, it's good to see, like, you know, <laughs> it's been... Like, I think we've been, I think this could have been a thing for like the last 40 years. So this is like kind of like a big deal because this is something that could have been like start like when Lego started even making plates. That already could have been a thing. A one by five brick could have been there. Um and one another thing is I think it opens for one by five brick, one by five tile, anything one by five. We can now have 1x5s, by design, which is good. I, I think it just opens up for... It's, it's, I think it's a, one of the biggest systemic, LEGO systemic changes in years. Because LEGO keeps adding system pieces every year. Like, we get new tiles, triangle tiles, corner tiles, curve, new curves, you, you know, new wedges, all the time. Uh, the, the brick had brick was a big change for a system piece, right? A big upgrade, um, like oh, like like this piece, like in, in the like this this element, for example, when it came out, uh, that's also like a nice nice addition, like a one like a you know, uh, how, how do you even call it? Like a side brick, like one by seven. I don't think one by seven would be as useful as a one by three, honestly. One by sorry, one by five, but you 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 get the drift. I think, uh, considering all the like system additions to the LEGO system, uh, this might be just one of the biggest deals in years. For just like the sake of shaping the sets in the future and uh, designers having extra tools at their disposal when they're designing stuff. So they, they won't run into problems like, oh, I have like exactly 1x5 space here. Do I do like a 1x2 and 1x3 here? And like, maybe, you know, you know, you get the drift. You get the drift. I think it's just gonna make it... We may, we may see some very interesting designs scaled down in the future. That's all I'm saying. All right, unenhanced computer, let's continue. Some other news. Arthur Parsons leaves TT Games. For those of you who don't know who this guy is, he is the guy behind dozens of LEGO games in the past. Um... And he's also, he's also working on, was working on uh, the Skywalker saga. So that's a big deal. But at this point, I mean, uh, at this point, I think that game is finished and just waiting for some, you know, good publishing, whatever, or maybe finishing. But this is the guy that you know behind tons of Lego games, tons of Lego games. That's the guy. If you were like to put a name behind a Lego game, that's the guy. All right, so that's a big deal. He's been with TT Games for 22 years. That's a lot. That's a long time to be uh, part of a game dev team. Game dev team. 
he was LEGO Dimensions guy. Yeah. He did announce that after incredible, incredible 22 years working at TT Games, uh, that was his last day. I have a lifetime of memories working with the best people. On 30, he worked on 30 or so. Whoop, wah! Yeah, that's his, that's his official announcement. Yeah, 30 so brilliant games, it's been an amazing journey. Yeah, he should make a YouTube channel. He should totally make a YouTube channel, <laughs> why not? So there's that. Um, yeah, like long term dev, long, long time dev person behind the face behind Lego games. So that's a big deal. So, I mean, I personally, I just wish the guy the best of endeavors. I don't know where he's coming, where, he, or maybe he's where he's going next, or if he's retiring or not, I have no idea. But you played Lego Super Heroes, you played, I know, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Lord of the Rings, probably you played this guy's games. So. I don't exactly know which games he worked on. He worked on the Dimensions. You can probably look him up. Okay, I'm gonna give a shout out to this guy who nobody knows about. And you should do what you should do right now is go watch Jang's video about how his change is coming to be. Uh, from my side, I'm just gonna say that I support Jang's in this decision. We we actually chatted about it um, briefly on Twitter. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 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 so famous now. I have direct line to Jang. Anyway, <laughs> now we chat sometimes about YouTube things, and I did. I messaged him uh, like last week, saying like, "Hey, Jang, this is a true story. Um, YouTube unsubscribed me from your channel, the Jang Briggs. YouTube did unsubscribe me. I did post that on my Discord. YouTube unsubbed me from Jang after." years of being sub to him and and notifications and everything i watch his streams i watch his videos all the time he's the number one youtuber i'm subscribed to and i'm watching that does the most watched youtuber by me uh, when it comes to lego people uh, and i noticed one day that like hey i didn't know jang was streaming and i went to his channel i was unsubscribed i was unsubscribed and i messaged jang hey look um uh, i'm not joking is this is not like a like a like a joke i got unsubscribed from you and he was like wow Really? And the next day he made this video saying like people are being unsubscribed from me, I'm changing, I'm moving my reviews to a new channel. And and he said that it kind of like, it wasn't like my, my message that prompted him, but he was thinking about it in the making, but he said that like I had reports from like this from random people, but I know you personally, like as me, he knows me. Uh, more than you know more people most people that watch him and and he's like that you're saying it I, I believe it's true now and and you know and I'm just gonna make a new channel and I, but I don't think like my 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 message to him like prompted him to do so I think he was thinking about it in the long run um, but here we are he has a new channel so go subscribe to him it's Jang's based Lego reviews uh, do I have this channel I think I'm that, that's that's new Jang's channel there you go. So he's he's posting his reviews there. He's re reposting and uh, any new reviews and old reviews he's gonna be posting there. Already like forty thousand subscribers. So go help the guy out. Uh, of course he he deserves everything uh, after all these years of working. So I, I did post that my Discord like, hey, YouTube is messed up and and Junk said like, you know what, Mike? After I he he did like update me saying like, you you know what? I made this new channel and my reviews are already doing better than ever with like only 40,000 subscribers and just people notified about this from my old channel. So he's keeping his old channel for, for live streams and all that, but his older reviews are moved to the new channel because he, he relies on them for the growth. Uh, obviously, he's like most known. His his streams are super successful, but he's most known from reviewing sets. That's that's his, that's his you know, uh, creme de la creme, bread and butter, whatever. Um, if you don't bow down to the pink cone, you will be unsubscribed. Maybe that's why. That that kind of checks out. Yeah, he has a million subs, and 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 he he should get so many more views. Yeah. So yeah, help him out. Make sure his channel is alive and well. Uh, I I I will support him. He's the OG. He he. He never stopped working. He never stopped loving what he's doing, and that's that's very inspiring. You know, a lot of people quit 
a lot of people um, actually are just like whatever very early in their careers and Zhang has been doing this consistently without any drop in quality rather improving in quality over many many years and I will support somebody who's so dedicated and so passionate about his craft and not stopping anywhere or anytime soon so definitely Zhang is like one of those people that I will support until he's like you know I, until he decides he doesn't want to do it anymore but I think his uh, his journey is like a good example of, of consistency and, and just dedication to your craft and all this stuff um, right on so go support Zhang Zhang's based LEGO reviews that's the channel <laughs> make sure you do it and let's meet LEGO Master Season 2 contestants <laughs> Shout out to Jang, big shout out to Jang. Um, just a quick brief look uh, who got into the LEGO Master Season 2. I don't know most of these people, unfortunately. Uh, they do have like YouTube uh, and, and Flickr and Instagram presence. I, I know Moto, that's for sure. So I don't, don't want to like dwell too much into that. Uh, just to say that second season is starting June 1st. We have Dave and Richard and Hans. Dave and Richard, uh, friends from Chicago and Brooklyn, uh, New York. We have Caleb and Jacob, brothers from La Crosse, uh, Wisconsin. That's Wisconsin, right? Uh, right on. They, they look the same. Holy smoke. Uh, Brian and Lauren, uh, siblings from Laguna Beach, California. Very nice. Susan and Jen uh, from Utah, friends. Uh, Zach and Tim from father and son from uh, Gaylord, Michigan. <laughs> Sorry, but that that town name is excellent. <laughs> um, it's just like uh, nothing against anything, um, you know. But but it's just like uh, funny funny name. Um, it's like that um, that movie from the past. Uh, Milton, Ohio, uh, siblings of Jack and Dawn, Jack and Dawn siblings. And Natalie and Michelle, from uh, friends from uh, Oklahoma and Arizona. Very nice. We got Sarita, Randall, uh, friends from uh, New York and Illinois. In Chicago, Illinois. Uh, we got Paras and Moto. Yeah, Moto I know from, from streams and whatnot. Yeah, he's a YouTuber for sure. Uh, from uh, Massachusetts and Colorado. I think uh, Moto is from Denver, I'm not sure, or he's, I'm not sure. Mark and Steven uh, from uh, Atlanta, brothers. Maria and Philip, a uh, married couple from Michigan. A lot of people from Michigan, actually. Um, Zach and Wayne from Stockton, California, brothers as well. Like, this guy's serious. He's gonna win. He's in for the win. <laughs> he's in for the win he's serious about it he's like i'm ready um yeah moto is on lego masters there you go yes absolutely and he's he's, he's i think like if i had to like that's moto i think he's he has a good shot on this he has a good shot on this i know his builds he's good he's really good uh there you go so we got lego masters um, review of the Ulysses Pro, but just have this open just to remember, remind you of this and then this. <laughs> you can give your feedback on how it went down with the Ulysses Pro. So be, be mindful and gentle, but uh, you can let them know how you feel about how that VIP uh, probe was handled. So you can let them know. <laughs> I didn't yet, but I think I will. Um, there's a a feedback. Uh, can I can I go there? I think there's a survey somewhere. Maybe it's closed already. Oh no, there is a survey. Yeah, you can you can you can earn points if you do the survey. I will do it. Not right now, but I will do it. Yeah. All right. What is that? Oh, just a list of brick heads. You, yeah, that's some bricks that you can like check your bricks of collection, whatever. Um, 
there's a guy that made like a software that you can like take a picture of your bin of lego and it will tell you what sets you have what i don't know read it through that might be cool kind of cool Where is the... is there a link or something? So there's a guy that... He, he has a studying... He's studying computer science then and he made this piece of software. But it ha you have like... Type in what kind of bricks you have. Uh, how does it work? So you like take a sample from the box and type it in and it finds you what type of set you poten potentially have in there. Alright, uh, I wonder if... A Lego sorter software. Alright, I'm not gonna read through it, it's it's on Brickset. So, I don't think you take a picture, you, you, it's not that advanced. I think you have to type in. Like you, you take like a like a handful of, of bricks from that box and catalog them and have a sample and then it kind of tries to find sets for you. Ah. Yeah, it needs to be photo based or no go. That's what I'm thinking. I thought that was the photo base. So you like take a picture of the box and like it like scanning, enhance, enhance, and then it tells you, but it's much more advanced functionality, and this is like you have to type it manually. So I mean, he doesn't try to commercialize it. It's a, it's a student project, but still like cool cool concept to uh, I would say cool problem to solve. We all have like those old '90s boxes of Lego. I have no idea what sets are there, right? So it's kind of it would be like nice to figure out that kind of like easy way. Enhance, enhance. Uh, there is no coin dropping on May first. Uh, that was a quick information. There's... it just postponed. Okay. Lego Group named time the 100 most influential companies. Alright. I would... do I agree? I think it's, it's... it's... it's agreeable that, especially during COVID, like, Lego was everywhere. I think a lot of people became AFOS <laughs> during COVID and Lego... Lego is an influencer now, people. Yeah. So this is the article I was like showing earlier by accident. Uh, Lego artist brings life-size brick builds animals to Tennessee. All right, that's like almost like Nathan Sawaya from LA. It's like almost like Nathan Sawaya. Very cool. Sean Kenray, nature pop exhibit, thirty-eight sculptures made from eight hundred thousand pieces very cool so he's like he's the equivalent of Nathan Sawaya I met Nathan Sawaya he's insane okay I am I'm, I'm, this is where I'm losing energy guys this is almost becoming like a building stream so we got a wind up here wind down wind down not wind up wind down coffee is is even like still good but cold so it's iced coffee now um let's see what is going on? Another NASA build, Lego Truman, not he's a veteran. 10,000 support votes for the Lego astronaut. I think that's something that Lego might pursue uh, instead of another ship. So, did he glue them though? I think they kind of have to. Uh, I think Nathan also glues his bricks because of environmental... Uh, because they're outside, so they have to withstand like temperature and rain and keep them like even legoland glues their bricks uh, especially the outside i mean the outside displays even legoland legoland does glue them i think so it's it's allowed kind of in that kind of realm of of giant sculptures um all right oh the eva pack all right 
that's the um, manned maneuvering unit with like thrusters and everything. That's what they use. Right on. Uh, I'm not an expert on that, but it's cool. This guy's an expert. You can read that through. Congratulations on this one. I certainly think it has a shot. Uh, ooh, look, another castle. <laughs> another castle. So this one does not have a shot, just because we're getting that creator one very soon. It's beautiful, it's nice, pretty, cute, and small. There's a dwarf in there. A Lego monkey, congrats. But uh, I, I wouldn't put my hopes too much into it. It's more like a, like a fantasy castle with Lord of the Rings minifigs and all that. Uh, that's, you know, Aragorn and, you know. No, that's, that's Geralt, that's Yennefer. That's uh, Zoltan from Witcher. <laughs> that's uh, uh, what's what's horse uh, Geralt's horse name? Um, Płotka in Polish, but I'm not remember the English name. Don't remember the English name. Welcome to Black Parade, a rock music rock band built by VNM Bricks. Uh, it's cool, but I don't think that Lego is pursuing that type of content. That that's My Chemical Romance, obviously. Yeah, alright, yeah, alright. I love rock music, I do. I, I, I'm all into like old style rock and, and 80, especially 80s rock. My, my favorite band is AC, ACDC, which is like power rock more likely. Uh, so I like, I, I, I like that, I love that music, but I, I don't think it, uh, it has like, especially this type of like display, it, I don't think LEGO will accept that. Um, there's another one, a stadium tour, which is like interesting, about air bricks. So that's like a, like a concert. Um, I don't I don't know exactly know what it's based on, but it, he doesn't even mention. It's kind of tries to be it tries to be like neutral, but it's probably based on some concert from the past. I'm not sure which one though. It's a drummer kit. Cool, 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 cool. It's all rendered though. But again, I don't think it's a, sh a big shot. Yes, rock. I do, I do love like all, all these rock, yes, I, that's my favorite type of music. So congrats, Airbricks, um, good luck with that one, but I'm not sure if that's something that LEGO is going to be looking for. Um, yeah, that is the last tab, oh my, you guys, you, you hanged out for all this time? I've been talking for like two hours or something. I'm actually, I didn't have breakfast, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting tired and I want to record a bunch of reviews. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna finish this stream. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna um, just take a break, eat some breakfast, refresh myself a bit, uh, just like maybe go for a walk or something. And I want to do like a, maybe I'm gonna just record talking about all this in chunks and post a bunch of videos. I think we're done for now, uh, unless there is something fat dropping in the next hour or two. My plan for today is to make a bunch of like news videos and post them like real quick, snap, snap, snap. So if you see us, if you see a spam of videos, please don't unsubscribe. I'm just gonna probably, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like wait for the week. I'm just gonna post it all, whatever. But I think we just, I, I'm just gonna try to like capture all that information that I, that I know about these sets. So I'm not gonna try to be too emotional about it. I'm just try, I'm gonna try to get all those deems a dim per video and try to capture this into one single video. So whoever was wa wasn't watching this stream, uh, I want them to have that information in like small chunks, right? Yeah, it's because uh, I started late, so it's it's almost lunchtime. It's like twelve. So I dedicated all my morning for you. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. Yeah. Um. So maybe just a quick update on what's next. So, if you watch my whole video, uh, I got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, we got, we still have the X-Wing. Uh, we got a few builds to, to do uh, in the coming days, weeks. So I got some smaller sets, this is like a, like a larger one. We get the new ATST from Mandalorian that came out some time ago. Uh, from the new ones, I got this, so we're gonna stream that at some point in time, maybe this week. Uh, I got a bunch of smaller ones. So this is something I just wanted to have. It's not like super relevant or anything, but we're gonna build this as well from from Star Wars. Probably we're gonna build this thing at, alongside one of these um, and do a quick review, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm gonna just build it like myself today and just review it quickly, whatever. It's it's a small, it's one of those smaller ones, you know, the new um, Tatooine. 
Uh, vignette. Um, and anything else for now? No, I didn't get the R2. Uh, I tried to, but I... I'm not too, too sad about this because it's still out of my budget, actually. Uh, and it was sold out. It was sold out, man. Anybody, how many of you got the R2? It's sold out online, my local stores are out. Uh, I know a lot of friends from the chat are, are getting or got this. Did you guys get the R2? Awesome stream, thank you guys. I hope it wasn't too long though. But I, I knew it was, it was it's gonna be longer than usual. How, how long have it been? How long? Two hours, 20 minutes. Okay, that explains why I'm tired. Yeah, people were having some, there was a queue when you were trying, I wasn't trying to order online for, I was like, if it's in the store, I'm gonna buy it. If it's not in the store, whatever. So it was in the store, I, I was I was too late. Um, but uh, people said that there was a queue online, you had to wait. Some people had like problems checking out. I I, I, w I will like the once I get the R2 at some point in the future I will like it I don't have the old one so I we had the old one back in the brick vault studio so I did kind of have some interaction with it um, and I, I, I ever since I kind of always wanted one but I don't know with all the stuff coming out like this wasn't my priority right now but yeah like eventually I will get him I'm just gonna have to find a space for him because it's crazy there's no space had to wait two hours to get it, but I got it. Nice. The website crashed from what I heard. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people had it sold out. I see. Yeah. I think... Um, I'm not, uh, well, once this restocks and I have extra cash on hand, then yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's something you kind of want in your collection in the long run. Like, R2 is like a no-brainer. Even though... I think, I, I, even though I don't like, I'm s not so much emotional about this set. Once I, like, usually once you start building a set like this, it's like, wow, actually I'm happy I have it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the case. It's not like like the shuttle when I was like, uh, oh, I need the shuttle, and like, yes, it's here. Um, but R2, I will just get it and just start building it like, yeah, I'm, now I'm happy that I have it. You know, kind of situation. All right. Um, yeah. I, I like I don't even want to ask what are you guys getting from that all the new stuff from June coming out I think for me the big win is that three in one castle. That's a big win a bit a big must-have um, And I along that I really want to finally get that pirate ship too um, That Disney like Mickey minifigs with Pluto. That's something I want for some reason um, Ninja go is solid this year that that wave is awesome Minecraft has solid lineup. Um, Speed Champions select sets are great. Good Taj Mahal from Architecture. Um, that that flower, uh, Bird of Paradise flower from Botanical. Yeah, good stuff. City very expensive. Like I think the biggest uh, kind of a fail is that that the price of that city sets with those elephants. And that's that's very expensive. Save the money for the daily buggle. 80-80? Oh. oh boy. It, it, for me it's even harder because I have... Basically I have... Uh, like this is a new house. And we, we don't even have half the furniture we want yet. So I am this year, I am on an ongoing house improvement project. So can you imagine how difficult it is to spend on Lego right now? I have a I have a backyard work in three weeks. That's gonna be like several thousand dollars. <laughs> Do you know how difficult it is to plan for Lego if you have that spending going on? Jeez. And then uh, you know furniture and uh, a lot of other things like property taxes, <laughs> adult stuff. And yet I'm thinking about a bunch of Lego to buy. Oh boy, that's, yeah, I think everybody, every AFO struggles in some way with, with that. As uh, Unless you're not, you're making like seven figures a year or something, I'm not. <laughs> um, then it's not a problem, but like, 
if you're doing all the other things in your life, that becomes a problem to just like keep your hobby running and, and getting all this stuff. Uh, and at the same time, trying to like, um, you know, keep your life running <laughs> and finish things you want to finish. And, you know, on top of that, I want to <laughs> wanna buy a Tesla at some point. So that's another thing I have to plan for. Oh, boy. I want to plan for. That's my like my little dream. Hey, MD Bricks. Does Lego ship for four countries? Um, official Lego.com. Uh, I think they're operating right now in like 10 or 12 countries. Depending on where you are from. Uh, I don't know where you're from. Lego Lego expands their shipping operation, like official, like Lego Com shipping, to many countries now. So we'll see. I paid off my house off early, thank goodness. Yeah, like I, I'm, dude, like I'm first year in my mortgage, so you know. But like it's you know I'm used to pay rent now I pay mortgage. So yeah, that's something that just keeps going. And yeah, my, and my priority is like to pay off early. Like I I wanna pay off, pay off early. Middle East. Uh, so I don't think Lego ships to Middle East. You guys have certified Lego stores. I know there's there are stores in Abu Dhabi and United Arab Emirates. Uh, my a friend of mine, like a fan of mine, sent me the Osprey from from actual Abu Dhabi. Um, so I know they they have just official Lego stuff, but I I don't think they they ship to. I don't think there's a Lego com in the Middle East, like shipping Lego com shipping. I don't think so. Um, all right, guys. I'm off. Let, let's. I'm gonna go eat something. It's it's almost lunchtime, and I didn't have breakfast. So I go figure how how hungry I'm becoming. Um, yeah. Two years in. Welcome to my world, yeah. Yeah, I have a 30 year fixed, um, which was I have a very good rate, but um, but you know, like you wanna you wanna get off that early as soon as possible. So most of my, like, probably any extra income, whatever, um, on top of, like, running the channel, will be going towards getting off debt as fast as possible. As everybody should have, like, you don't want to run into, like, run uh, your debt too, for too long, honestly. Like, you just want to, if you can, you can pay off stuff early. I'm going to try my best to do that in my life. Uh, Non-financial advice, but that's, I think, everybody should be doing. Uh, yeah. Just not paying for the house it might be a, must be a great thing. Just taxes and maintenance and you're good, right? All right, guys, love you all. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for the fat, fat with a PH super chat from Bricks and Me for 20 bucks today. Um, you won't be seeing me on Tuesday on BTB. No, no, no. I'm I'm back to the office. I I said that before. Uh, I did I did like talk to the BTB. I I did say then like no. I'm my my life is back to normal basically. Uh, Nine to five. Actually, early, like, I, I, right now my commute is like 6 a.m. So, because kids are back to school, uh, my wife starts a new job tomorrow, and uh, my younger child starts another, a new daycare tomorrow as well. So, big change in our life, but I'm, I'm in the office on Tuesdays. You won't be seeing me on any live streams anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, so, that's, that's, I, I miss that, dude, I miss that. This is... This sucks for me because I, I, I really enjoy talking. I, I do watch them like on my break or something or help with the chat, but I can't join live. So for me, like in California, you know, I'm fully vaccinated um, and my wife is and the kids are back in school. So we're, we're like, we're back, back to business in normal, kind of like normal, normal-ish life. And that means that uh, no streams during the day. I won't be able to shift my hours for the time being. I uh, everything that happens in the cool factor happens in the afternoon or in the weekends, like right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, welcome. It's the end. How are you doing this? You're always at the end, even though this was longer for by an hour than usual. <laughs> Oh yeah, but yeah, Cool Factor keeps going. Uh, I will be doing building streams because I think they're gonna be even more in demand for me right now because I'm gonna come back from work like tired and maybe stressed out. And you know, as you guys know me, the best way for me is, is building Lego to decompress and finish the day. So as much as I will be able to, I'm gonna be keep doing like afternoon and evening streams of Lego, uh, chat streams, member streams are gonna be once a month most likely. 
Um, and we'll keep, we're keeping the books and coffee as a great little chat that we have. Yeah, just showed up. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You're amazing. I love you all. Big shout to the audience. You guys are amazing. Awesome. <laughs> and super chatty uh, today with the 20 bucks was amazing. And we are gonna be approach all the buttons. We're gonna be seeing each other very soon. All right. Love you all. You guys are freaking amazing. Take care. Hit the like and probably don't be afraid or don't be weird weirded out if I spam a bunch of videos today. That's my plan at least. Let's let's see how it goes. All right. Love you. Peace out. Talk soon.